Hey, what is going on guys? Sporty Clash here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. And I know we're watching a video of me while you're watching a video of me watch a video of me. Anyway, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that is brand new, unfortunately, in the new update that just happened two days ago. The giant gauntlet has been nerfed. And this is the only like video that i have of it being nerfed and then i'll show you what happened so we get into the old giant gauntlet and i think they did a good job of nerfing this because it was pretty op so if we actually go over the when the giant gauntlet first came out as you can see right here i'll let you guys when i activate so it is making a way let's check on. a look at where he's going unfortunately he's not going the way Watch that this. i want him to at all so and he's under a poison spell but we're gonna use it here so when the when the road or when the giant gauntlet was activated back then he had the warden ability of not being able to take any damage and i'm not gonna lie to you i hopped on this morning and i was attacking and i used my giant gauntlet and i was like why is my king dying so quickly isn't he supposed to have like some invincibility and look here he has some invincibility like he is taking a lot of damage right now from the scatter shot the multi-target everything and he is not losing any health until obviously the giant gauntlet is down let's hop on to clash of clans and watch the unfortunate nerf that has just happened to the giant gauntlet all right, now we are over on to Clash of Clans itself. And um, let's take a look at the giant gauntlet in action. And let me show you guys the difference. Now, I actually didn't know about this update change. I did watch Judo Sloth, but I don't know. I guess I didn't see the giant gauntlet was going to take a nerf. So right now, I'm actually not even use the giant, I'm using the giant gauntlet because I was like, I don't want to use it anymore <laughs> that was like the best thing in the game so let's put it on really quick i actually swapped it out for the rage vial because i enjoy the rage vial um here we go so i'll put on the giant gauntlet and let me show you what happens really disappointing but that's okay it needed to get burnt. it needed to get buffed a little bit so let's find a, a base i need dark elixir because if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video the new update obviously is here and my bowlers need to get max level so that i can use them correctly in town hall 16 and try that attack strategy so this is a pretty good one 6.4k as well as 898,000 gold let's take a look at the attack itself so let's do this um i'll probably send over probably send my flame flinger over here like normal we always do the same attack strategy for the last like i don't know how long but we gotta get once that oh gosh wow that king did not get oh gosh we my royal champion is taking a beat or my grand warden is taking a beating over there all right let's see all right we're gonna start putting the headhunters over there so that our flame finger doesn't die too too quickly but it looks like i gotta use uh, you know what we're not here for the royal champ or we're not here for the grand warden we're here for the king so let's get the king in there and let's see let me just show you guys unfortunately what is happening so i do have the giant golem on i'm still trying to focus on the attack but i'm also trying to get the king in there as quick as possible so let me just spam man it is really weird not seeing those bowlers max level they've been max level for a while so right now i got um obviously my king charging in there and we're gonna focus on the king like we normally do i'm always gonna do what i always do which is focus on a troop and it's not gonna be the best attack because i'm focused on the troop but here we go he's heading towards the center and i'm about to use his ability pretty shortly and right about now so as you can see he is taking heavy heavy damage which don't get me wrong he's still getting healed in a way by the healers but when you had that giant gauntlet before and i did that specifically by the way so that i can show you that like it's taking like i wanted him to take the most amount of damage when attacking for this video because i wanted to show you guys that if i did that in that last video that i showed you at the beginning he would still be alive and moving he wouldn't be moving fast but he would be moving so it is pretty disappointed they, they nerfed it a little bit he they took away his grand warden ability so what you're probably gonna have to do if you still well for me for me i guess not for everyone but for me personally if i'm still gonna want to use that giant gauntlet i'm going to have to actually put my grand warden ability as his giant gauntlet 
so that it like matches up in a way but that was so good about the giant gauntlet you could use your grand warden ability like how i did in the beginning well i didn't get to show it but i usually use my grand warden very early in the attack put a rage spell they directly go to the center with the grand warden ability and then i use the uh giant gauntlet on the king to use like another specific one so it is really disappointing but i do understand why they did it it was so so easy to three star let me show you another example i know you guys probably already get it now but um it just really it really sucks that's all i do under, like i said i do understand but it definitely all right six points six point two k i will not be using the giant gauntlet now i really don't think i'm going to actually get any benefit from it from it because that's just not part of that was a part of my attack strategy um so let's actually use a like a, a real ability like let's get a full attack going here and a good attack last attack was kind of uh all over the place but we should be able to get to the center here and i'll be able to use my giant gauntlet again and show you guys that man the warden's really taking a hit what's going did they buff the warden that i don't know about too that would have been because i use a warden walk here and he is usually taking a pretty good does a pretty good job but he's taking a beating right now all right let's um let's use that let's clear up those side troops there and then we'll start sending in all of them once that blacksmith goes down and i'll send in all my troops here we go stinks not seeing those things uh those grand warden or um bowler's not max level all right so this is what i usually do i you i rage my stuff i wait for them to charge to the middle all right perfect we got the rule champ or the grand warden ability which is not on the king it is not on the king holy crap why isn't it on the king all right i'm gonna use the ability here because i need to break down those walls and that king is okay yeah he's he's still taking a beating he, he is still it's a great ability it just it sucks they don't have that i'm trying to get like i mean he still takes a lot more hit points but like before he was like not going down at all unfortunately his ability's over but we got the frost ability which is one of the best abilities for the queen in my opinion i mean look how much that's slowed down um but yeah really stinks that it was nerfed but at the end of the day it's part of the it's part of the game oh here we go that queen's gonna go down here let me use my ability watch this watch the single target inferno completely okay there we go i was gonna say slow down completely take it out in two shots scatter shot is taken that's a good dude queen ability is the best in my opinion the frozen arrow one of the best but we're not here to talk about the frozen arrow we're here to talk about the downfall of the giant gauntlet in my opinion still a great ability i think because of the ability to that splash damage whenever he swings his sword that is something that i fell in love with as well because it was so good but now i just use the rage vial to end the earthquake boots um a lot of people say that the earthquake boots is uh earthquake boots is one of the worst in my opinion for my attack strategy specifically it is not because i really want to break down the base now i wouldn't have used my giant or my earthquake boots that early i would have waited till the king was over like where this dead queen is but i needed to show off that the king will not take as much damage unfortunately and if we actually you know like just it's just it um hurts you know it, it hurts a little bit but that's okay we're over here we got a nice little 75 percent. definitely could have done a little better if i was actually focused on the attack but yeah that is um the giant gauntlet and i'm here to replace it right now which really really stinks i'm gonna put the rage vial in there rage vial is in there vamp stash i heard is really good as well but i haven't made a full video on these because i want to wait till they're at least close to the max out before i really review them um but i'm gonna be using the rage vial and the earthquake boots for right now and i'll think about the world champion abilities for now but yeah, that is the Earthquake Boots. If you guys didn't know, it has been nerfed down with specifically no longer having that Grand Warden ability when activating your um, your uh, ability. Your uh, Earthquake, or not Earthquake Boots, the Giant Gauntlet. So yeah, tough luck, but that's okay. So yeah, let me show you guys if you guys want to see it one more time. Um, this is what the Grand, or this is what the ability should look like. As you can see, when I activate his ability here, he will not take a single damage so here we go he is not taking much damage like that bar is not moving at all and he is getting targeted by the cannon here i mean yeah the cannon's going towards him the multi-target inferno the tesla and he is not taking a single ounce of damage so yeah 
pretty uh pretty interesting stuff i i gotta say um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode